Greetings, Jedi Traders. David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the Technical Momentum Outlook, a weekly supplemental to the newsletter for May 16th, 2016, as we roll into week 20 of the year. As always, please seek financial advisement when trading with your money, as these videos are for educational purposes only. Support your knowledge of the market. See what's going through my head on any given day or week. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan. And always manage your stop when placing a trade. Yeah, let's jump uh, real quickly here to uh, week 19. It was a uh, pretty good week, trending wise on the futures. 31 setups, a little bit above average as Friday was a uh, in and out session. 666 ticks. Don't get superstitious on me. That's the number. And Q367 higher than YM, slightly above, and ES81 ticks. You can feel free to stop by at tradingfibs.com. Check out the blog where you'll see a variety of the different charts, including each day's stats and good information as to trading the T3 trend study. Futures ETFs and market cap leaders will go ahead and get that uh, uploaded here for week 20. Always want to make sure you check that out uh, where you can capture this week's video in the document here, the weekly supplemental. Go ahead and click on that 98 pages of fun where you have a variety covering different indices and using charts to cover the markets. What markets are we covering? Well, let's go back and take a look right here from the futures, ETFs, market cap leaders, FX pairs, etc. So let's jump right in as to the allocation of these charts, as you'll see here, broken down. And in this weekly supplemental video, I'm not going to cover every single one. You want to make sure you check out the uh, the newsletter as to the current trend in the market. Remember, this trader here leaving the crystal ball to the experts for intraday, always ready in both directions. But big picture, short-term trend versus long-term trend. Suppose you're trading ETFs, looking at options, FX pairs, or trying to get in for something a little bit longer. Want to have a little bit of an advantage. Uh, as to entry, don't need to pay big bucks. You can apply a simple strategy on the charts. Here's the key that we use. Let's take a look here at an example of using the SPY here on a four-hour chart, using the daily chart and the weekly chart, middle studies. Heiken Ashi, uh, I'm sorry, multi, multiple moving averages on study number two. Heiken Ashi Colt study. You can find more information out there in the newsletter, but it's really the top chart. We're focusing on T3 moving averages, a 50 and a 144 to give us the technical momentum trend. And it's the daily with the 50 and the 200, as well as the weekly to give us a bigger picture of where the trend is at. So while this trader here leaving the crystal ball to the rest of those out there, 50% will get it right, 50% get it wrong. It's being ready every day to be going in either direction. It's where is the highest probability entry based on the moving average. Simple as it is, uh, you always want to make sure that you place a stop on your trade, but where's the highest probability Probability that is in trend? And we'll go through some of those charts here to give you a better idea. So whether you're using the uh, Thinkorswim platform, which we have available templates, you can also find these studies here on the Sierra charts as well. The Heiken Ashi Colt study is not available, but again, the primary study here on the top row. Uh, this newsletter is in its sixth, that's right, sixth, issue as uh, we continue to roll through each issue making additional adjustments throughout the year or throughout the weeks excuse me and uh, eventually we'll have a solid newsletter for you guys so at this point free for everybody to read pass on to your friends traders and uh, eventually uh, will become available for a very nominal fee per month all right, let's jump right into the SPX. What is the big picture right now? As we ro roll into week 20, week 19, the uh, 50 and the 144 still holding upside. So taking a look at the 50 period moving average on an exponential 144. So the fact that the two moving averages are not only gapped, but 50 above the 144 indicates that we are in a bullish trend at this point, bullish trend. 
and the T3 moving averages, uh, obviously when they are back in the green, both bars up here in the upper left-hand corner back in the green, uh, we continue our trend, but we look for lines of resistance. We look for lines of support right now. The SPX as of last week's price action on a four-hour chart. We can see here uh, for the most of the last couple weeks has been migrating downwards, finding a little bit of support here at the 50 bouncing back up uh, last week and then right back down underneath the 50 MA. So big picture SPX downtrend, but uh, only, I uh, sorry, uh, uptrend, but in a pullback, in a pullback right now and inside the gap, the 50 and the 144. Taking a look at the VIX here as uh, price action has been holding underneath the 144 as of week 18 and 19 here price action broke back downside got a little bit of lift in that market VIX back upside uh, as we saw the SPX come down VIX back up around the 50 EMA look for the rejection here in the week to come or if we continue upside market comes to uh, back down uh, 144 EMA to be the next level of uh, resistance to the upside all right let's jump into the uh, three main key charts that I use to identify key momentum trend again we're only choosing a select few from the variety of different indices and uh, markets that are chosen in the newsletter to represent a whole here let's jump right in uh, looking at the SPX on the four hour the daily and the weekly so we just looked at the four hour chart daily again right here at the 50 SMA simple moving average so bigger picture weekly we are still in a confirmed uptrend actually all three across so once uh, once price action breaks on a smaller time frame uh, we look to the next time frame look to the daily to see which would be the next key level downside and what is the big technical momentum here obviously all bullish so anything we have is just a minor pullback at this point as the uh, SPX index is still holding to the upside support here both on a daily as the T3 moving average is still holding upside above the 50 on a weekly so nothing more than a pullback I'll look for the 144 EMA on a four hour chart this week see what happens here uh, but again intraday intraday uh, sessions you'll want to always be ready for both directions both uh, short and long but again if you were wanting to get in the s uh, in the spy that we'll hear uh, look at in a couple minutes all you got to do is look for a t3 moving average look for a pullback and then re-entry hikinashi bars solid body tails down to put you uh, in the trade on an ETF of an index or for that matter uh, any other market all right taking a look here at the dollar as the dollar continues to drive up t3 moving averages great opportunity to get long here on the t3 cross upside even though the bigger picture is down we reject it right here at the 50 so pullback entry solid body tail up watch for the obviously the uh, resistance downside here at the 50 EMA as we continue to be in a downtrend but it is the bigger picture the weekly that has been in this long uptrend but again now t3 moving averages downside not looking good so if price action can hold here at this uh, 50 EMA and we don't break above that 144 and we come back down uh, look for a continued pullback to at least perhaps the 87 uh, line here obviously that will change through the days but uh, that will give you a better opportunity on a smaller time for for a pullback and back to the downside so right now again key moving averages up ahead taking a look at the total stock market index here with the vanguard t3 moving averages crossing back downside bigger picture has been upside you can see the levels of resistance nothing more than just moving averages here guys but key moving averages that i use uh whether it's a t3 moving average or whether it's the 5144 so four hour chart vti in a pullback here uh both on the daily and the four hour uh, bigger picture on the weekly still holding upside so market uh, nothing more than just a minor pullback at this point taking a look at IJR the small caps S&P 600 again same picture that we just saw in the total stock market index from Vanguard T3 moving averages again watch for that 110.63 here level uh, daily again holding up here just slightly at the daily but uh, at the 50 but watch again for this 109 which will just be uh, hair below the four hour chart again big picture t3 moving averages holding upside in a confirmed uptrend on the weekly so nothing more than just small minor pullbacks at this point 
IWJ taking a look at the industrials. T3 moving averages, uh, slight pullback here and a confirmed uptrend on all three uh, markets. Uh, finding support here at the 50. Yeah, man, a daily looking good. T3 moving averages on a weekly, all in the green. So at this point, industrials still in the green. Taking a look at the transports. Transports down, not looking good. T3 moving averages now under the 50, 144. Again, on the daily tuck and under, look for the 140, uh, look for the 200 here on the weekly. I apologize. Uh, it's the 200s on the daily and the weekly. It's the 144 here on the four hour. So downside confirmed uh, T3 moving average downside. But again, bigger picture, all still in the green as of now. So this will be a, a week to watch. But again, if we've already broken under the 144 on a four hour and the daily, the next level down, you want to look for it. First level is 131 here on the weekly. Taking the next look, one of our other, <coughs> excuse me, uh, ETF industrials, XLF financials here. Price action again on the financials. Crossing back downside. Kind of a mixed bag here as we see the T3 moving averages coming back down, breaking that 50 period uh, EMA. Look for the 144 level for support here. 2272 will be around the same level as the daily and the resistance up here at 2338 uh, uh, line in the sand there. So uh, if we get a pullback and comes right back upside, opportunity for a long. Got to get these 50 above 144 to show the financials that we're back in an uptrend. Take a look at the XLK price action on the tech industry. Again, masking that NASDAQ, Triple Q, Apple, anything you're watching, big movers, market cap leaders, price action resistance here at the 144. Doesn't look good, but again, we're holding here at the 144 on the daily. So confirmed downtrend. If this T3 moving average all goes red, watch for the daily to continue, and then watch for us to break that 50, and uh, we'll ride this one down. All right, jumping into the uh, diamonds, let's take a look at the ETFs for the future. Looking at the diamonds, again, very similar picture across the board, guys. You'll see here, again, green background indicating we're still in a major uptrend. You're seeing pullbacks occur both here on the diamonds as well as the FXE, which is the Euro ETF here. Again, bigger picture for the Euro has been downside for quite some time. T3 moving average uh, kicking up here on the weekly, but it's the uh, resistance or support here. Uh, 110.34, look for 109.87 as it shifts through the uh, sessions and the four-hour overnight session to find a little bit of support there. Take a look at the IWM, same picture we had on the diamonds there. We're getting that support right there at the 144. Daily also has been uh, moving higher, looking at T3 moving average. Uh, that pullback, but it's the 5144 that's been migrating higher. If we can hold here at this 144 and find a pullback back to the upside, uh, we'll watch that daily eventually come to a confirmed uptrend. But again, look at the resistance here on the weekly. So right now, no go to the upside yet. Take a look at the triple cube masking that uh, 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 industrials XLK on the ETF resistance here at the 144 still in the green all across the board so if you break the four hour and you break the daily you gotta look for the next level on the weekly as well as perhaps any open gaps or Fibonacci levels downside take a look at the spy as we mentioned in the beginning SPX pulling back here watch for the Hold here at 203.51, but right now we're holding on the daily. Good news here for the daily uh, and the weekly here is first line of support, 202.54. So all within uh, a little bit of a range here. Break any of these levels. Four hour, if we get all red across the board here, price action underneath the 144. Watch for the daily level here. Next down, 201.3. All right, jumping into gold, watching the gold here. It's price action in a confirmed uptrend. Got a ways to go on gold to get weekly back upside. So right now, we continue uh, on the four-hour chart and the daily chart to hold above the 50. So looking good for gold as of right now to the upside. USO looking at the oil ETF. Price action holding above the 50 and the 144, migrating upwards as uh, oil continues to move up we got that 144 ahead here at 1194 and t3 moving averages watch for the 1305 to be the next level of resistance as long as the four hour can hold upside if it pulls back for any reason watch for the four hour levels first for resistance 
All right, EEM looking at the emerging markets. Price action uh, tries to break upside of that 144. No go. Resistance, resistance here as it holds down on the daily. So right now, emerging markets even pulls up here to the 50. So right now, I'd have to say confirmed uh, uh, pullback with resistance. Uh, even though we've been the green on the shorter term, it's the longer term that's been in the red. So not looking good for the emerging markets at this point. <clears throat> Taking a look at the 20-year bond, T3 moving average is crossing upside above the 51.44 here, holding above the 51.44. So color is green all across the board, looking good. Any pullback, look for the first level of support, both here on the 50 and the daily. Again, you'll have to watch for those intraday sessions to get both directions. If you're look, always looking for the entry, if you're always looking for the entry, uh, on an ETF, especially to get back in, it's the T3. So let's let's take an example here. This is a good example. So you have a T3 moving average crossover down here. You have a 50 above 144. Those are the two lines here. You got the T3 moving averages. You have the crossover here. You have the pullback. So right here, that's the level for entry. Now again, this is a four-hour chart. If you're looking for the intraday, you would go down to a smaller time frame, perhaps a 50 tick or a 100 tick chart to get your entry intraday, which puts you into the long here, whether you're the options trader or the futures trader, uh, hold on for a short-term position. All right, let's jump into the market cap leaders as we take a look at Apple. Again, you've seen those articles out there. Apple, Apple, Schmapple, uh, these are the lows. We're going higher. Well, right now on the moving averages, we're definitely still to the downside. Everything shows down on the Apple as we hang around these 90s, uh, both a daily and a four-hour chart right now. What I would look for, obviously, is uh, T3 moving averages to go back into the green here. Uh, on a four-hour chart uh, to be followed through by the daily. I always, always look for the resistance up ahead on these two, even though the bigger picture on the weekly looks great, but T3 moving averages, a downside on Apple. It's going to take a while for a 50 and a 200 to cross here, so I'm not looking for the entry on the weekly. I would look first for the four-hour chart, look for price action to eventually come back green, as you see here, but again, we're not looking for the down. We're looking for the upside. Look for that on the four-hour chart. Watch for the resistance. If you get a pullback, then wait for the breakthrough. That would be your optimal entry on Apple. Take a look at the Amazon. It's all about Amazon right now, all up in the green. Pullback entries, upside. Everything's in the green. That's exactly what you're looking for. Earnings uh, came out here on a smaller time frame. You had an optimal entry. Put you in the entry, holding on to Amazon to the long side. There it was, weekly, daily, in the green. And four-hour chart entry Take a look at the Facebook, very similar charts here. Again, green all across the board with T3 moving averages, no question on Facebook. Indecision candles up here at the highs. So again, uh, got to watch your stops. Uh, perhaps you're trailing here on the 50 EMA or maybe shorter. That's up to you. But right now, all indicators of the momentum. Again, it's one thing for me to come in at uh, week three or week four or week two and tell you we're still in a momentum. I uh, just need to go back a couple weeks and see where was the uh, ideal opportunity to enter on Facebook would have been the pullbacks and back upside on the T3 crossovers with a 50 above 144. I love that four-hour chart there, Jedi traders. Take a look at the Google alphabet. Not looking very good. Is the resistance here at the 5144. Again, in the gap on the daily. So if we're going back upside, pullback, Let's get back in the green up here. T3 moving averages. Uh, solid. Look for the, if Google's going up, look for the solid body just like you saw here. Look for the solid body tails up to get you back into the upside. Crossover, breakthrough to the upside of 2727 here. Now, on the Heiken Ashi cold study, you can already see the long entry here. This was the first initial opportunity to get back in just on the T3 moving average crossover. So, great opportunity there. All right, taking a look at the Netflix. Netflix, again, same picture, downsize. We saw on Apple, the text leaning down, solid bodies, tails down here. As we see here, both on the four hour and the daily weekly, we got a long ways to go to have a trend change. But for any uh, support back to the upside, we're going to need to see T3 moving averages cross back upside, resistance up here at 93.75 and then 98, around 98.28. But right now, confirmed downtrend. Uh, it's going to take a little bit uh, for us to get back upside. All right, taking a look, final market cap leader, taking a look at Starbucks. T3 moving averages, again, just uh, 
going into the red downside as we hold 50 below 144. So variety, majority is market cap leaders all in the red. Uh, only uh, the Amazon and Facebook looking really good. But again, uh, this week we can totally turn it around. But uh, it's going to take a lot to get back up upside. Got to need fine resistance here, both the 50 and the 144. Watch for the candles. Watch for the four-hour trend. Again, you can see that we started to make an uptrend, but was quickly held back here as uh, T3 moving averages just cross right back downside. So would love for price action to come back, hit one of these moving averages, see if we get a pullback, and then for the breakthrough, that would be the ideal opportunity for anything else. You're just fishing for a bottom, and right now, uh, I don't see it. All right, let's wrap up with the last two, taking a look at two of our uh, FX pairs, taking a look at the euro. Price action, just like we saw in the FXC to the downside, for the most part, has been to the downside. Finding support here at uh, 1.13. Uh, T3 moving average is back downside, but short term, we're still in the green here. 50 above 144. Uh, we'll have to watch in the next week, see if we can pull this down. Um, but right now, T3 moving average is uh, downside and still an uptrend. And the Japanese yen is price action kind of shifting sideways here in the four hour chart. Again, this is a great picture of watching. Uh, price action again early entry was back here on the t3 cross it broke through the 50 came up here to 144 pull back again you're looking for the t3 moving averages to get back in the green on the yen and then solid bodies tails up on the four hour will put you back in a confirmed uptrend which is the bigger picture look at the resistance here all the way down as we've seen on some of these other market cap leaders yeah it's going to be a ride down to get there but if the yen can hold here off the one uh, off the 200 sma and break above on the day Daily above 110 then you have yourself a long position all right so how do we use these uh, how do we combine this all together well take a look here on the right hand side again those are the bigger pictures you have you have here, here a picture of Apple from uh, I think this was last week or several weeks ago t3 moving averages downside confirmed downtrend still here uh, 52 week low obviously we're uh, below that now but Here's the intraday setup, looking at a 50 tick, 100 tick, and a 15 minute chart. As long as the momentum is still down to the downside, you're not looking for a long entry. So once you get that 15 minute chart to cross back over into the green, uh, your 50 tick chart will be back in the green, which will lead eventually the 100, which will eventually turn these, especially the four hour chart. So if I were to focus on four main charts, it would be one in the upper, a 50 tick, a 100 tick, a 15 minute chart, and a four hour for back for a confirmed uh, uptrend. And again, like many of you traders know, watching on multiple time frames, uh, that's the sequence that I would use. Whether you use the think or swim charts or do you, whether you use the Sierra chart, same picture here uh, on the futures. Uh, you can be watching the ETFs as well. The combination. Again, these templates are available. If you're interested, feel free to email me David at Trading Fibs or check out the newsletter, which uh, let me go ahead and pull up that uh, link for you. Uh, let me see here. Let's go ahead and cross that, X that out. And well, let's go ahead and pull up that page there. Future ETFs, market app leaders. Uh, pull up the weekly momentum outlook. Again, if you scroll all the way to the end, uh, some additional information there and the templates available both for think or swim and Sierra charts just go ahead and click on the PayPal button there all right that uh, that's a wrap guys for this week of uh, finishing up week 19 as we head into week 20 feel free to stop by at tradingfibs.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information my mantra one simple strategy any market any chart as you see here any time frame will keep you disciplined you can find me every day on Twitter at Trading Fibs. And as always, I, as I said in the beginning, I leave the crystal ball to the experts. Hey, I can tell you here that the momentum is going a certain direction. And this entire week, we do an about face. But again, bringing up the levels in line in the sand that you want to be looking at and how to pair that all up, both with an intraday and a daily big pick, makes for a strong probability, especially on a pullback. I only trade what's in front of me on my charts. I always leave my bias at the door when trading. Have yourselves a Blue Zone week. Good day, good night, and good trading.